go with, there's no doubt it. Gotta get out of this small town You took my heart from me Now you're everywhere I see Set me free, let me fly Let me find new kinds of highs We're just wasting here Waiting for another year We both know the score We've been here once before So many words unspoken You took my heart, it's already broken You don't have to wait I can take the pain I will surrender, let me go on a new adventure What's up Reefers? Welcome back to another episode of Zola Tank Boys! Let's go! In this episode guys, we're gonna introduce you to the Reef Squad! Reef Squad! Yeah. We're also gonna go visit Trash Panda Aquaculture and have a crazy, crazy day! Let's go! So as you just saw, this episode's gonna be insane. We're gonna visit Trash Panda Aquaculture. Rip. Before we begin, I wanna introduce you to the Reef Squad. Had to take it away. Alrighty, guys. So we got David, Big D here. David, what type of tank you got? So I have a Red Sea 350. Um, that's it, I'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so here we have Henry. If you guys watched the episode of Reef Raiders, you guys saw his water box, 90 gallon, 90.3, yes. which is going insane. So we're going to Trash Panda Aquaculture. It's about 45 minutes away. So we're super excited. We're probably gonna stop and get a bite to eat. Now guys, what are we looking to pick up today? Henry, start with you. Do you, do you have anything in mind? Something that you're looking for? I'm hoping to get a nice frog spawn and maybe some wild flowers. Okay, okay. All right, David, I see you back there. What's up, bro? What are you looking okay. at getting? Mine is thinking, I'm thinking about getting a few rock flowers. Not quite sure how many, uh, but they're definitely going to be vibrant. Hopefully, the bigger, the better. Um, and I might even get a scoldy or two, but I'm not sure. Okay. And I don't even know what I'm getting, if I'm getting anything, guys, because the tank is looking crazy. So don't forget the easiest way to support this channel is to like, subscribe, and leave a comment that lets us know that you like what you are seeing. Notification bell. Boom. Alright guys, so we just made it to Trash Panda. You guys ready to get some coral? You guys ready to get some coral? Yeah, ready. Let's do it. Hey guys, we're at Trash Panda Aquaculture. Insane, insane stuff, guys. What do you think I'm getting? David? I'll get a bun scoli, and I'm also going to get a, what is it called? An What is it, Acupora? Recordia? A Recordia. And then, did you get the Alviopora? Did you find an Alviopora you like? I have not yet found one, but I'm working on it. What about you, Henry? I don't know, I'm thinking about getting a nice frog spawn that I'm looking at. That's where, beautiful where? stuff. And I'm still looking, but we're gonna see what's cooking. We got Joe here too. What's up? <laughs> you know, actually, somebody yesterday at the show was like, "Hey, do you know Zotan boys there in Orlando?" I'm like, "Yeah, they're coming over the house tomorrow." <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we got a whole bunch of crazy fire. Henry got some fire. David got some fire. I got a little bit of fire. Hector's holding the camera. All right, Joe, appreciate you. Wow. We got a whole bunch of crazy stuff in the works, guys, but now we got to get home and put this in our tanks. Let's go. So we are heading to get some food. I am starving. Are you guys hungry? Yes, I'm yes, starving. Sure. What do y'all want to eat? It doesn't matter what you want to eat. It don't matter. I'll eat whatever. All right, so we're heading to get some food. We're still going to stop at another LFS. What LFS are we stopping at? Mad Reefers! Reefer. David, what are we gonna have for lunch? I was thinking about some wet. What I do you guys say? You should have some wet for lunch. Hector, you want some wet? I'm down for some wet. Of course you're down for some wet. 
What about you? You want some wine? I love some wine. What? 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 What's wine? What's wine, David? Where's the pizza? Where's the pizza? Where's the pizza, you dirty mind? Where's the pizza? Head out the gutter. Leave a comment below if you eat wine. All right, guys, we just finished eating. We're going to go find a sloth. There's rumors that there's a sloth. Hector. I no, not, not that one, the other one. Oh, man. The real one. Well, you guys are walking like you're full. Uh, <laughs> no. All right, guys, this is a local pet store. They got monkeys. Take a video there. They got rid of it. Guys, look at this naked guinea pig. Literally, hairless guinea pig. Free. Move it. I like to move it. Yeah. Yo, I think you should get one, bro. I think I should too. I'm getting like a scarf, wrap the tail around me. <laughs> oh, dude. All right, guys. All right, guys. We've made it to the rat mad reefer. To the rat reefer? To the mad reefer. What you got to say, David? I'm prepared to spend lots of money. What Ooh. you going to do, brother? What about you, Henry? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. All right, guys, let's check what they have. What'd you get, bro? You got a nice, beautiful hammer. Yeah. A rainbow hammer. You gotta have to show us, bro, when you put it in the tank. I'm gonna put you guys on. Uh, well, I have like four, I have like three Nasario snails now. I have one Mexican and three turbos. Christmas. Yeah, baby, yeah. This How many? He got a dirty God tank, damn. huh? No, no, he's got more in the bag, though. That's not just it. No, nah, dude, I'm trying to, what I want to do is kill step two before it gets to. So before I get all that green hair out, and all that other good stuff, I'm making sure I have the proper tools in there to kill it all. <laughs> yeah, he's got the no good one, bro. Alright reefers, so here we have the Red C350, so as you guys can tell, there's a lot, a lot of corals in here. So there is some kind of major update news overall. So the original Zoa Lagoon, I ended up actually selling that aquarium, to be frank with you guys, maintaining four aquariums was actually a bit overwhelming. Um, so I did have to get rid of that tank, and the zoanthids are back in the 350. So tank is looking very, very good. Um, it did go through a nitrite spike recently because I redid the aquascape. Uh, so it did take some time for everything to come back to normal. But for the most part, most things are thriving. So this isn't going to be a detailed, detailed overview of the aquarium, but I do want to show you one of the corals that I did pick up at Trash Panda, and that is this awesome, awesome Recordia. Super vibrant. I had to get it. So overall, the corals are doing, they're doing pretty good. When I did go through a nitrite spike for redoing the aquascape, the mushrooms did take a beating Luckily, the biohazard is recovering pretty well. We got the GMKs right there. That's a colony of uh, frozen hornets, which are bouncing back. But for the most part, most of the coral seem to be doing pretty well. I just did a water change yesterday. 
about a 25% water change, so everything is looking super happy. Got the Space Invader Pectinia up there. Not sure what corals I want to add. I may want to get an OG Bounce Mushroom, at least an additional one, because the one that I have isn't doing too well because of that nitrate spike. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. There's a lot of really fun content coming out, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Zola Tank Boys. But yeah, guys, what are your thoughts? Leave a comment. What's up, guys? Henry over here. Just trying to update you guys on the new corals that we added from Trash Panda yesterday. I ended up getting a beautiful rainbow gold hammer. It's still in the process of opening up, and I have a little bit of cyanobacteria that's kind of affecting it right now, but everything looking pretty good. Other than that, we got this little island over here. We got this beautiful green mushroom and this super nice pink rock flower anemone. Super beautiful. Back to you, Manny. Ring Squad here with Zola Tank Boys. So after stopping at Mad Reefers and Trash Pandas, I picked up about eight different corals. Um, if you walk in a little bit here, you can kind of see a, a bubble I picked up. It's a bubble koi, I believe. It's starting to look really good. Um, I do have a few additionals here. I have a button scully, if I can grab it. And push this here. And it does have a few Zoas off to the side. Those were additional, they were bonuses. I also picked up a blue candy cane coral, which I'm putting here on the plug on the side. Till I find the proper spacing for it. You can see I have a translucent hammer, a Duncan there. I also have these clove polyps. They're yellow tipped. I don't exactly know the name for them just yet, but they'll open up here shortly. Um, another one I did receive from Trash Panda, I believe is this A can here on the side next to the button scully I have here. I'm gonna also grab this one here. Very bright, beautiful. There's a little green, orange in the middle. Awesome. And no, they are not glued down just yet, but they will be shortly. My new up and coming reef tank. Loving it. Awesome colors, as you can see. I have two Scullies here, a couple GSPs. Reef Squad out. Okay, guys, so before we check out what fire I got from the Mad Reefer, let's check out the tank a little bit, see how everything's going. So, right here in the center, as you can see, this is my Zoa Garden. Everything's doing pretty great. We got some cat eyes. We've got some sweet tooths, some fairy dust. Uh, we got some utter chaos. Yeah, everything's doing pretty great. And this guy right here, we have a blue tip torch. As you guys can see, he's getting pretty large. He's actually developing two heads there. All right, so let's scroll a little down. We got some hammers here. We got a hologram hammer. And then we have a splattered hammer. We have three heads on that guy. We got a few, I actually have three rock flowers. I have that bright, bright orange one over there in that crevice. I have the king of the throne right here. And then here on the side, I don't know if you can tell, right, right behind him, there's another rock flower. I got Big Mama Lobo. Got an A-can here. As you guys can see, I'm trying to fight off some hair algae, but a few snails, 
They're going to work. You can see that big patch was filled with hair algae. They're taking care of that. Lowering my feeding doses and doing some water changes here. Now let's get to the fire here on the frag rack. So we got some blood shots. But this is the guy we came for today. Check it out. So I got this one at Mad Reefer earlier today. And look at all those bubbles. He's got white bubbles, but he also has some yellow bubbles. I don't know if you see that yellow bubble right there. Well, it's kind of greenish yellow. Um, from what he told me, these guys develop white and yellow bubbles. So I can't wait. So I got him cooking on the frag rack. And I just can't wait to see what happens. Look at that, guys. All righty. Back to you, Manny. All right, Reefers, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Zoa Tank Boys. We can't end this episode without giving a shout out. And guys, this week we're gonna do two shout outs because guess what? We forgot last week. So for starters, the first comment that we're gonna shout out belongs to Greasy Does It. I hope I mentioned that name right. And this person specifically said, never realized those anemones gobbled up food that fast, pretty cool. Now this comment came from the anemones video and yeah, they eat like crazy. So I pretty much put frozen krill, I'll cut up some fish and they gobble it up. So thanks for the comment. The second comment that we're gonna shout out, Clinton Lundberg asked, any tips on encouraging splitting? Mines are getting too big. So I'm not an expert with bubble tip anemones, but I know people have found success in unfortunately stressing out the anemone. So whether it's overfeeding them and making them digest a lot of food causes them to split. Um, when your tank has parameter swings, believe it or not, whether it's a temperature swing, nitrates or whatnot, that stress level as a survival mechanism will make them split. And of course the old fashioned way, which is fragging the anemone, which I've never done. So leave a comment if you have done that in the past. So guys, don't forget, leave a comment. We love giving these shout outs out. It lets us know that you love what you're seeing. Till next time, Zoatang boys out.